With the most exciting high school soccer season ever coming in 2014, your friends at Soccer 605 are bringing you a site that's dedicated only to high school soccer. Hey, and this time it's on your smartphone. Check it out daily or even more often for schedules, scores, standings, videos, interviews, game of the week, weekly wrap-up shows, and even more. If it has to do with South Dakota high school soccer, it's right here on High School Soccer 605. Soccer 605, and I'm here with Coach Sidney Zanon, the head coach at the Pure Girls. Uh, Sidney, you've had one incredible summer. Yes, sir. I just can't begin to talk about it because I was over to be here for the rest of the week. But um, it was a fantastic summer. It was a wonderful experience. And besides seeing my parents and all that, I watched some really, really good quality games. And a little let down with Brazil there against Germany, but that's okay. That's how you learn when you lose a game like that. Brazil had a, such a young team and um, a lot of pressure for those kids to win, and that's what happened. It just just fell apart for eight, ten minutes in the game, and that's what happens. But we brought it back, a great experience, and um, not just the game itself, but all, everything that happens to us, it was just fantastic. Now we're back to the normal now, uh, beginning of the season here. We just get these girls going, and we're going to have a really, really young team this year, and five seniors, and keep working on those little seven and eight graders to see if they can come up and then a couple of years from now, I'd be very strong. Well, you know, it's always a good idea to feed the, feed the future, you know, and I've, I've always been a big fan of getting those young kids in there and, and getting them in that pressure situation. I mean, that makes them grow. Exactly. You got the right idea there. I mean, it's something that we've been fighting forever over here, and, and, and personally, uh, I, I hate the, the idea of cutting people. Uh, uh, a lot of things can happen when you cut, and all those kids are young, and uh, we, they're so used to, to just get everything they want, you know, and the, some of them, don't, they can't pass that let down of being cut, and they try something else. We lose them for soccer, and some, some of them for life, and, uh, and so I, that's why I'm against of cutting it, and, and we can always run a wide program. We just got to get more coaches involved, and, and if we have 40, 45 players, that's a great number for the future. Yeah, Coach Seabrass was telling me you have over 40 girls out here, and that's pretty amazing. Yes, we do. We do we have a very, very great talent on the seventh graders coming in from that, you know, that state cup team we had practicing for years with them. So our JV is going to be strong in about two or three years from now. We, we're going to be very solid again. I mean, I'm not saying this year we're not counting and winning. Yes, we are. But I think we're going to play better soccer in a few years from now. Well, and you know, the one thing about this year's team, especially with the seniors you've got, you've got three or four girls that you can really build a team around who, I mean, are really effective impact players. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing, you know, having experience of like Kaylee Williams and Sydney Palmer, you know, and, and Kim Coates and those girls, they, they have some experience right now and, and we're going to use that obviously to build around them and trying to bring those little girls, you know, to look up for them and, and learn everything they have to teach. Do you think that uh, having the whole state now uh, being sanctioned and pure as well, do you think that's going to improve uh, the, the um, participation and that sort of thing of soccer? I think it was a huge, huge improvement. I, I really like it. At the beginning, I was a little skeptical about it because, you know, when you go to schools, different rules, different set of all kinds of things we have to do now. But I, I feel like for the, you know since I got hired, I, the meetings that I have been and the thing that I, I'm involved right now is it really make a huge difference and and I I think it was for the best definitely it's for the better and uh, now we got a program that we can actually decide as a head coach what do you want to do with the program and I'm responsible for it and I I love that part and um, in the past yes we were trying to follow the rules of, of, of being sanctioned but we really didn't we had to follow different rules and now actually we have everything in our hands and, and, and it's all up to, her, to us what we're going to do in the future. You know we noticed a couple of big differences in the sanctioned schools last year like for instance uh, when we'd have uh, a kid from like O'Gorman or Harrisburg or one of the sanctioned schools um, in a goal of the week contest. And, you know, they would even put that on their school website, some of them right on the front page and saying, you know, vote for Hannah. And, you know, just the school spirit there, I think, is really going to make these girls feel a lot more included. Definitely, definitely. is. Uh, we always trying to teach these kids that, you know, the soccer out here is just not nothing but an extension of their classroom. And that's exactly what we we after, and and I think these kids have a lot more to learn now, because we come across not just as a coach, but we we got to be some kind of teacher right now as well. So uh, we go into the courses and learning all the stuff that we need to do, and I, I think I'm growing myself as a coach just by going through that that part of my culture that I I didn't pay attention very much back then. So right now. 
Yeah, we. I think it's getting better. Yeah, I agree. And uh, so, you know, uh, season just around the corner, just a few days. How do you uh, open up your first three games? Well, um, Mitchell, we know Mitchell has struggled with their program. This is the beginning of their program. They've been working with the DW coaches for the past three or four years, so they got to get in much better by now than we know a few years ago when we play against them. But right now, you know, the, the numbers are a problem for them, especially on the girls' side. They don't have a JV team, and I think that's what we're going to face in a lot of a lot of sanctioned schools on the state, uh, like smaller, smaller town, not going to have that depth to have a JV team. So in a way, we're going to try to schedule around for some teams that we actually don't play and get their JV to actually trying to play them while we're in Sioux Falls, maybe, you know, when we play in T, maybe we get a, a JV game against one of the Sioux Falls team. And that we're going to try to work around the schedule. I think it's going to take a few years to get this thing straightened out, but I think when it gets everything settled, it's going to be really beautiful. Yeah, I, I agree, you know, the, at the Sioux Falls schools, especially those that have a lot of immigrant kids, we've seen double and triple the amount of kids trying out, you know, just because of that. So, I mean, it's just magical for soccer, I think. Exactly, and, it, and every, every time, every year that goes by, I think it gets tougher and tougher for, especially for a smaller town, you know, because the bigger town gets bigger and we stay about the same. We're, we're in a location over here that really we don't, we don't advertise much of a growth here because we like the way it is. You know, Pierre is a small town, and Pierre are people that like to come over here to go fishing and work for the state and and go hunting a little bit. That's that's what we're about. And but we like that way. But in in a sense of a growth, the program, we just have to make stronger players that we already have and teach them how to play the game because our numbers are going to be just around about the same every year. Well, Coach, I'm going to let you get back to your team. I know you're getting ready to say goodbye to him for the day, but uh, thanks a lot for spending a little time with Soccer 605, and uh, can't wait to see uh, uh, what, what you produce here with this team this year. Thank you. Thank you for, for everything, and again, uh, thank you to Soccer 605 to you know to promote this, and I think it's always wonderful to have a media part like that, that it will come and, and bring small towns like us up you know, into the map. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.